The State Department is under fire as the House Small Business Committee issues a subpoena demanding records related to alleged censorship programs. This follows a year-long investigation into the Global Engagement Center, GC, which has been accused of funding efforts to suppress right-leaning media through the Global Disinformation Index, GDI. The GC granted $100,000 to GDI, which pressures advertisers to boycott conservative outlets, sparking outrage and legal action from sites like The Federalist and The Daily Wire. The controversy escalated when Republicans requested comprehensive financial records from the GC, only to receive heavily redacted documents. This led to accusations of obstruction from the State Department. The subpoena, spearheaded by Rep. Roger Williams, Republican Texas, seeks unredacted records and specific documents related to alleged disinformation tracking groups, including GDI and NewsGuard. The committee is particularly interested in a document named GCGDI Blacklist, believed to detail blacklisted media organizations. Republicans argue that the GEC's activities contradict its mission to combat foreign propaganda, instead targeting domestic conservative speech. The subpoena could have significant implications, potentially impacting the GEC's funding and operations. Williams criticized the State Department's lack of transparency, emphasizing the need for a fair competitive environment for American businesses. This development follows the attachment of an amendment to the 2025 Defense Policy Bill to prevent the Pentagon from funding groups that demonetize lawful speech. With the GEC up for reauthorization, this congressional probe could determine its future amid growing frustration over its partisan activities.